Hey everyone, this is Skyfire815 here, and I'm creating a tutorial on how to utilize Derek's Boot and Nuke version 2.2.6 beta to wipe the hard drive, also known as zeroing or blanking the drive. This particular hard drive has a bad block on it, so I'm going to wipe out the data before discarding the drive. Taking a look at my setup, I have an external hard drive. It's a 300 gigabyte hard drive connected by USB to the laptop. We're going to boot the laptop and access the boot options uh, for the system. In my case, I'm using a Dell laptop, so I just need to press the F12 key um, on boot. I'll insert the disk and then select to boot the, uh, from the optical CD DVD drive. Boot Nuke loads and you're presented with a limited liability warning and URL for more information about Boot Nuke. Um, you also have a list of available options. You can select F1 for help, F2 for a list of Boot Nuke commands. Uh, we're just going to press enter to go into the interactive mode. After pressing enter, the software is going to begin initializing uh, the hardware and searching for USB devices. Uh, clearly based on my setup, Bootnook supports USB devices as well as locally attached hard drives. After initialization, we have the hard drive selection menu. Uh, use extra caution on this menu because once you start wiping a drive, you're going to be losing data immediately. In the top left corner, you will see the defaults for how the drive will be wiped. In the statistics panel on the right hand side, will be the location where your runtime uh, and remaining time is going to be displayed and on the bottom half um, is the drive selection menu. Boot Nuke supports wiping multiple drives at the same time. At the bottom of the drive selection menu you'll see that there is key mappings on how to navigate through the drive selection menu. We're going to locate the drive we want to wipe which in our case is the SCSI WD for Western Digital 300 gigabyte hard drive. We press spacebar to select the drive and then the M key to select the method we want to use to wipe the hard drive. On the wipe method screen it shows the description of the default wipe method. As you navigate through each method you will see differences in security, description of the method, as well as the amount of passes that the method will make which more passes means the longer the wipe will take. For this tutorial we're just going to use the quick erase method. We move up to the quick erase option and press spacebar to select the method. Back on the drive selection screen with all of our options configured we're now ready to begin wiping the drive. Again double check to make sure you have the correct drive you want to erase and that you are prepared to have all of the data on that drive wiped. That being said, press F10 to begin the procedure. A few seconds into the procedure you'll begin to receive statistics regarding the percentage complete and the estimated time remaining. Typically an 80 gig hard drive takes about two hours to complete depending which options you select and how many passes. You can tell this hard drive has failed because immediately the remaining time is five hours. What we ended up discovering as we let the process run overnight is it took about 10 hours for it to actually complete its operation. Now, in my opinion, here is a really nice feature of Boot Nuke. Since the wipe has started, we can actually remove the disk uh, since the program has been loaded into memory. This is nice because when you have multiple systems to wipe, you can quickly move between each system, loading boot nuke, starting the wipe, and then moving on to the next. It saves you time and you can have confidence that the drive has been completely wiped. I hope you find this t uh, tutorial helpful and that uh, you check out this tool. Um, again, all credit goes to the creators of Derek's Boot Nuke. And um, enjoy.